So one of the things that we have been doing is we've been working with these inherited objects and we've just done an equals to see if something is equal to uh, another version of the object. One of the things we had to do is I had to explicitly create this uh, get ID getter uh, because ID has private access. It's kind of annoying if you think about it uh, because, all right, well, I probably want to have access to it. I probably need to have access to it occasionally. Uh, say, for example, instead I wanted to have uh, my equals, instead of it checking ID, I wanted to say name. Well, name, name has private access as well. If I attempt to compile this, errors. I get a bunch of errors because uh, name is private. Both of them for a uh, person and uh, for me. Now what we can do is we can actually change this variable. I can call this something known as protected. Notice how it turns sort of that pinkish purple color. It's indicating that it is a keyword in Java. And so what that now means is this protected data type. Instead of it being private, instead of it being public, public being uh, it's visible to everybody, private meaning it's only visible to me, protected means it's visible to everything on my hierarchy. So something like a student, which extends, inherits from person, now has access to name. I no longer have to have sort of that get name method. I can just do name. And the same thing, student, student has access to the main, so I'm able to then in turn, Java C, notice no errors, Java. I can still do the same thing just by changing up the access modifiers of my methods, of my data types.